Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Hit Parade Autographed Baseballs Series 3, a 10 box break. There, there are 10 loose boxes, by the way. And what else do we have? Um, I guess we'll go by our non-pro... Nick Stover's here, nice. I guess we'll go by our non-pro uniform rule. So if they're an active player, they'll go to the team they're currently on, right? If they're retired, they'll go to the team they played for the longest. Unless it says like like that World Series ball, that'll obviously go to whatever year that World Series is. I don't know. We'll play it by ear. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So it'll it'll go to yeah, because we'll use our non-pro uniform rules. So should be pretty obvious though. Big thanks to everybody here for making this happen. Thank you. And all 30 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Six and a one. Lucky seven times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, we got Adam down to Nick. Six and a one, seven times. One, two, three, four, five. Six and a one. Seventh and final time. We got Rockies down to the Brew Crew. Now, trades are allowed, but in a break like this, trade at your own risk. Who knows what Hit Parade has loaded up these uh, these boxes with. Could be some amazing stuff. Adam with the Rocks. Nick with the Yankees. Oliver with the Rangers. John with the Cubs. Colin with the Cards. Nick with the Red Sox. Barry with the Blue Jays and the Braves. John with the Pirates, Colin with the Royals, Nick T with the Giants, uh, Anthony with the Padres, Adam with the White Sox, Zane with the Tigers, John with the Astros, Ben with the Nats, Nick with the O's, Anthony, you got my Dodgers, Derek with the Angels, Alec with the Reds, Charles, M's, Jake, A's, Charles with Cleveland, Colin with the Rays, Steve with Arizona, TJ with the Fish, Alec with the Phillies, Nick Stober with the Twinkies, Brittany with the Metropolitans, and Nick Stober with the Brew Crew. All right, so we're going to pause the video, allow for a little bit of trading time. Yeah, I feel like he's just like, why do I get the Marlins in these things? Marlins up for trade. So there you go. All right, so I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trade, and then the break will stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. There were no deals done, but here's all the boxes. Out. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Uh, as I was saying before, this is by far, I, I can't really show you on camera because, you know, it's all relevant. You don't can't feel anything but this is definitely way more heavier than all the other boxes i don't know why it could be a good thing could be a bad thing maybe i've overhyped it i don't know but we'll, we'll find out what that is we'll do that last all right let's go oh there's a piece of there's a sticker right over here it's gonna be a little difficult okay so there's the Fanatics authentication here. Oh, they have the name on there. Okay, so maybe we can do a little bit of Who Am I because they put stickered names on the inside of the box. I know there's a lot we have to do, so we'll uh, we'll make these clues very, very quick. And remember, since there's no like team, I mean, unless there's a team stamp on the baseball, they're not going to have teams on them. So we're going to go um, with our non-pro uniform rules. So they'll go the team they're currently on if they're active or the team they played for the longest if they're retired. Unless it obviously states something. Like if it says like 1995 All-Star Game stamp on there and it's a certain player who was an All-Star for a certain team, we'll obviously make that logical connection. But for most of these, I think it'll be um, whatever team they're on. Okay. Who am I? Braves catcher. Oh no, Tatis with another home run off of Kershaw? Damn, that's two solo shots off of Kershaw. He's got to drop a little faster though. Another one? Another one. Uno mas, that's four on the season for him. Yeah, he's pretty, pretty good. Braves catcher, 251 lifetime, 74 home runs, 274 runs batted. And he's from Long Beach, California, 32 years old. The other catcher, he's an active catcher, Joshua. I don't know how often he's playing, but I think most of you may remember him from the Mets. 
He caught with the Mets for six seasons, the first six seasons of his career. He was with the Dodgers and the Rays for half a season in 2019, and then 20, from 2020, he was with the Braves. This will go to the Braves. Oh, actually, I should write down the name of the person while you're guessing. Barry Swisher has the Braves. Yep, yep, TJ's got it. Travis Darnod. Darno. Darnod? Dar I actually don't know how to say his name. I think it's Travis Darno. Alright, so there's the Fanatic sticker right there. There's his autograph. I think it goes this way. There you go. Pretty nice. There's the... The hologram sticker right there. So you got a couple authentications over there. Let's carefully wrap this back up. Darno? Darno, I think. <laughs> All right, so that's Barry Swisher with the Braves, the ATL. one all right well, I kind of don't want to show let's flip it around this way that's how we'll do it all right um, some of you may saw may have seen the name on there if you were eagle-eyed but this should be pretty easy this guy's a Hall of Famer um, Inducted in 2010 on the ninth ballot, 77.9% of the vote. Uh, hit 279, 2,774 hits, 438 home runs, little almost 1,600 runs batted in. What team did he play for the longest, actually? Let's go to pro baseball. Let's go to baseballreference.com. I think it's, I associate him with one team, but he might have played for this other team the longest. Right. Okay. Which, which is which is true. So I know who that goes to. So by those stats, can you guess? Nicknamed the Hawk. Nicknamed the Hawk. No, a Rod. No, was not inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2010. Anthony gets it. It's Andre Dawson, the Hawk. We got the JSA card right here. And let's see. He's got, a, he's got really nice penmanship, too. So I associate him as a Cub... But he, and here's the JSA sticker right there. there. Is there an MLB hologram sticker? No, just the JSA sticker. That's good enough. But he played with the Nash, uh, Nationals. It goes to the Nationals. He played with the uh, Montreal Expos for 11 seasons. Chicago Cubs for six seasons. So it goes to the team he played for the longest. And that'll be for Ben Hodap, who, has, uh, who got randomized the Nats. swimming school for like children inner cities and really yeah baby seals baby otters it's called wow yeah. you guys hear that teddy jaspi relaying a andre dawson story almost died as a child in a swimming pool and then started a started some swimming classes right here all right who am i I'm Joe Jaspi, but this is a baseball player uh, still active. He's a three-time All-Star, a 2015 World Series champion, and a 2018 NL Saves leader.
Who am I? So he won that World Series with the with the Royals in 2015. So the closer for the Royals in 2015, basically. Who am I? Sixty-three and fifty-two, eight eight three eighty-two ERA, eight hundred and ninety-eight strikeouts, one hundred and forty saves. Righty. Not Hosmer. He doesn't. He doesn't close. Hosmer may not even have a save to his his record. I think Gilo. Not Chapman. Gilo should get it. He's a can there. You go, Wade Davis. There you go. There's Wade Davis. He's back with the Royals now. There you go. Riley got it too. His autograph goes this way. There we go. See the W and the D right over there. There's the hologram sticker right there. The fanatic sticker back there. Nice. Yeah, he was, that's right, Nick Stover. He was a Cub for a year in 2017. Went to the Rockies for a couple. It's with the Rockies where he set the NL, was, he was the NL saves leader with the Rockies in 2018. And then he's back with the Royals now. This is Royals edition, going to Colin. Nice Wade Davis. All right. I have to look up how this is a retired. Another retired player here. Who did he play for the longest? That team. Okay. All right. I am a Hall of Famer. I won a Cy Young and an MVP. Six-time All-Star. Um, an ALCS MVP. And I'm one of those guys. This this might, might make it pretty easy. But I'm one of those guys who half of my career, I was a starter, a starting pitcher. And the second half of my career, and it's not John Smoltz, second half of my career, it's the other one, uh, was just an amazing closer. Led the league one year with 65 saves, woo, or 51 saves, that is. 65 games finished. It's pretty awesome. He was okay as a starter. He was more than okay as a starter. At least in the early years. He won 20 games at one point. How many guys have won 20 games and have also saved more than... Yeah, wow. Now, Greg Max never closed. Yeah, TJ's got it. Dennis Eckersley. And he played with... And here's the David Adams certificate of authenticity. He played with the, uh, the Oakland A's the longest. Nine years with the Oakland A's and then eight with the Red Sox where he started his career. No, he started his career with Cleveland, actually, interestingly enough. He's got some pretty good penmanship, too. I think it goes this way. These are really clean baseballs, too. There's the David Adams sticker. There's a JSA sticker right there, too. Oh, is this another Cub for a bit? He was, yeah. In the in 84, 85, 86, was with the Cubs for a little bit. I think he was still trying to be a starter then. And they, I think the A's tried him as a starter, too. No, I think when the A's picked him up, they said, we're going to turn you into a closer because he started closing out games. And by year two with the A's, he started becoming a premier closer. Nice. Great penmanship from the Eck. Is he still, is he still doing Boston uh, broadcasts? He's doing, he's doing color on a Boston TV. That's uh, Jake Reams with the Oakland A's.
There you go, Jake, with the Oakland A's. I think I also want to say that Dennis Eckersley has coined a lot more fra baseball-related phrases than we think. I think walk-off for sure he coined. He's uh he's kind of a cool he's kind of a wordsmith in that sort of sense or at least has come up with a a lot of stuff. Does his Wikipedia page page have anything about that? I think you could probably find Yeah, there's a Twitter account called Ectionary, at E-C-K, Shinary, T-I-O-N-A-R-Y, I guess tracking uh, Dennis Eckersley stuff, but as recently as a couple days ago, or yesterday, quote, quote, little panic piece is what that was, Eck on Sam Haggerty bobbling Frenchie Cordell's grounder to second. So yeah, he's he's got some he's got some uh, he's got some things there. Okay, this is another player who played for many many teams in his career. So who did he play for the longest? This is going to be pretty easy um, to figure out. He played with that team for the longest. Okay, I'm a Hall of Famer, eight-time All Star, won the World Series in 1969. I don't know if I had too much to do with that World Series, but Won the World Series in 1969, two-time ERA title. Uh, I also have 5,714 strikeouts. Who am I? You should be able to get this right away. Yep, Shane, Nolan, Ryan, the Ryan Express. So he played with a number of teams. The team he played for the longest, since there's no like team stamp or anything, there's his, there's his logo right there. There's his autograph. So the team he played for the longest was the uh, Houston Astros. So he played with the Angels for not eight seasons, the Mets and the... Rangers for five seasons each, but nine seasons with the Houston Astros. So that's going to go to uh, John with the Strohs. Four more to go, and then the mysteriously heavy box. So go the team that he's currently on. So I have a career. I have a career 130 wins to my 90 losses in my 14 year career so far. I've got a career 1,630 strikeouts. I was a 20 game winner at one point. And had a league best 242 strikeouts at one point as well. Two-time All-Star and a World Series winner. I think uh, finished top five in Cy Young voting three times. Well, two twice. Fourth place one time, second place another time, and then finished sixth in Cy Young voting back in 2016. Who am I? I won a World Series with uh, with the Royals. I didn't realize I had a ring. But I actually technically got one with the Royals. Who am I? No, 
not, not 6 0 Sanchez, I'm afraid. He hasn't been around that long. There you go, TJ. Nice. Johnny Cueto, who's with the Giants right now, and that's going to go to Nick T. The Giants have got a little Steiner sports card, Fanatics card right here. Let's take a quick look at his auto. So there's all the sticker stuff right there. Oh, I think it goes this way. There you go. There's his autograph right there. Nice. Some good pen. See, the older guys always have good pen dimensions. The young kids. Few more to go. Oh, the names are on the back flap of these. I don't want to reveal that too early. All right, next one. I am a retired player. And I played for only one team my entire career. I was an MVP a six-time All-Star, a three-time Gold Glove, a five-time Silver Slugger, a three-time Batting Champion. Um, probably going to be in the Hall of Fame. First ballot, maybe? 2,123 hits in my career, 143 home runs, lifetime 306 batting average. Won the MVP in 2009, if you want to think back to 2009. Not Chipper, not Beltre. 15 seasons with one team. Not Brett, not Cal Ripken. Now you you might think 2,123 hits. You're talking you're talking Hall of Fame, Joe. He must be a catcher. Right? Catcher with 2,000 hits and 143 home runs. Lifetime 306. Think about recently retired catchers who played for one team their entire... He's got an MVP. That's got to be first ballot. I mean, I don't think he's getting like 100% of the votes, but that's got to that's be first or second ballot pretty easy, I think. Yeah, Robert and Anthony all of those got it. Yeah, Joe Maurer. Yeah, he's, he's pretty good. I think maybe if the... Maybe if the Twins had moved him to uh, to first a little bit earlier in his career, maybe they, he would have they could have extended his career a little bit. But what a great run, though! All right, there's all the hologram sticker fanatics right there. Let's, let's goes this way. Here, nice Joe Maurer autograph. Uh, who has the Twinkies? That'll be for there you go, Nick Stober with the Twins. Few more to go. There you go, Nick. Thinking caps on everybody. Next one is. Who am I? I played for 17 seasons, won a Rookie of the Year and an MVP early in my career. 
I think I was one of the last players. I, I was an MVP Rookie of the Year, won two World Series, six-time All-Star, four-time Silver Slugger. My last All-Star was with the uh, Tampa Bay Devil Rays. The year before that, that was, that was when I was 34 years old. The year before that, in my age 33 season, I was a Silver Slugger. Yeah, he's, he still hit 46 home runs for, for, Tor for Toronto that year. But I played the longest with this team where I had my most success. Going from backwards to from my last team to my earliest team, I played my last year, I was on the Chicago White Sox team. The year before that, uh, the Yankees. The year before that, Tampa Bay. And then half, a, then a bit of a season in uh, in Toronto as well. Before that, Oakland. Then a couple seasons in Boston. Before that, one, two, three, four, four and a, three and a half, four and a half seasons in Texas. And then I started my career in Oakland. Who am I? Oh, should I give you career numbers? This will this will help. Two sixty six lifetime, four hundred and sixty two home runs in my career, one thousand eight hundred and seventy seven hits. So then, yeah, then it won't be Boggs because of the average. Eric, what's going on? Not Pena. He's an autograph that's pretty common. We see him. We see him off. We see him often. He signs a lot. There's the David Adams sticker right here. Jose Canseco. And that'll go to Jake Reams and the A's. I think that's the, that's the second A's ball, maybe. There's the David Adams card in there too. I should have said he had a home run ball that bounced. There was a home run that bounced off his head. A ball that bounced off his head and turned into a home run. There you go. Exactly, Hank. Jose Canseco. Might be lagging behind a little bit, but it is Jose. What's going on? How are you? Doing good. You have that top chrome racing? I do. Nice. Oop, I almost showed the name. Want me to leave one of them up here? Um, I mean, that's probably going to be your first break, so. All right, um, who am I? I'm an active player this time. Active player with a lifetime 278 batting average, 28 home runs, 207 hits, 114 RBIs. Um, so far this season, I'm hitting 383. Already four home runs and a dozen RBIs. And I've stolen base too. I have more walks than strikeouts, which is a good thing as well. 14 walks, 11 strikeouts. So this is this is hashtag good for the hobby, that's for sure. Who am I? Oh, wow, everyone got it right away. Vlad, yeah, TJ, Jonathan, you got it. Vlad Jr. What what gave it away? You guys got it right away. TJ. Yeah, I also lost 50 pounds, which is probably a good thing. There it is, nice. There's the JSA sticker right back there, too. Nice one for Barry Swisher and the Bluebirds. There's the corresponding JSA card too. Oh, the average got okay. TJ paying attention to the average. I like that.
Yeah, he's 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 hitting really well. The I think the weight loss helped him out greatly. I saw him do the the, the splits the other day, reaching for a ball. So there you go, Barry and the Bluebirds. All right, now here's this mysterious box right here that was considerably heavier. I know you can't really tell on camera, but it was considerably heavier heavier than the other balls. So let's see what it, let's see what this is. Did I overhype this? Probably. <laughs> All right, so there's the player, but why is the ball so heavy? All right, another retired player. Another Hall of Famer. Three time, I won three MVPs? Three-time MVP winner. A 12-time All-Star, 10-time Gold Glover, Gold Glove winner. Was a, uh, won the World Series, won a World Series, and was the World Series MVP, six-time Silver Slugger. Uh... Lifetime 267 batting average, 2,203 hits, and 548 home runs. Almost 1,600 RBIs. What's crazy is that it was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It wasn't until nine seasons in, right, where he won the MVP. And he won back-to-back -back MVPs. He won an MVP. Hitting 286, hitting 48 home runs in the season, 121 RBIs. It was almost a triple crown season. If his average was a little bit better, he might have gotten it. And then the year after that, he won the MVP again, the NL MVP again, with a 316 batting average, 31 home runs, and 91 RBIs. 73 walks, more walks than strikeouts. And then the next year, finished top 10 MVP voting. The next year, top 3 MVP voting. The next year, top 10 in MVP voting. Then in his age 35 season, nothing. And then in his age 36 season, he hit 290, 37 home runs, 119 RBIs. 36 years old, he won an MVP. NL MVP. I mean, maybe the other guys are, were crappy, but those are pretty good numbers. I mean, Glenn Davis was the closest guy with a 265 batting average that season, 31 home runs and 101 RBIs. Yep, Tom and Anthony's got it. Tom got it first. Mike Schmidt, Schmitty. Now, why is this so heavy? See, you can even hear hear that it's heavier. The extra packaging. Three layers of tissue paper. Wow. Ooh, look at this. What's going on here? Wow. It's almost like a paperweight. What's in, I don't know what that is. Maybe infield dirt? There's the JSA sticker right there. There is his autograph right on this crystal glass baseball. It's even flattened a little bit on the bottom. All right, that must be infield dirt, right? Wow, that is awesome. Where's the signature on that? It's right there. Oh, it's the blue ink? Yeah. That is super interesting looking. That's inf that's gotta be that's infield dirt, right? Can't be anything else. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. That is awesome. That is super cool. Mike Schmidt, Schmitty. Played for one, played 18 seasons with one team. That is awesome. Philadelphia Phillies. That's Alec Harrison with the Philadelphia Phillies. That is awesome. Could be a paperweight. I mean, I wish, hopefully I can find more stuff like that. That'd be awesome. Right, Robert? Pretty cool stuff. Hey, I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for breaking with us. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Oh, that's awesome. I'll see you next time for the next break. I've, I've never seen anything like this before. Now I want to find like Dodgers players that might have something like that. That's pretty cool. I'm Joe. I'll see you. Bye-bye. Sweet.